And welcome back, this is your man Warrior, and we have got two videos today, that's right. One for the ship, it's kind of a double video, it's for the ship, and is that ship worth it? And then we're also going to be looking at this new droid T3M4 from the KOTOR series, and pretty excited about having new characters, but, 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 don't worry about it if you can't get this character. Now, there is a little bit of a unique situation going on with this specific character, let me explain. So Capital Games um, has basically said that they've partnered with Google Play, they do this from time to time, they have in the past, to bring T3 to players on an early uh, limited time exclusive. The exact period of this exclusivity isn't gonna be disclosed at this time, however, iOS players are gonna be able to obtain this particular character as well down the road. Um, they just don't say exactly how long. This happened before with K2SO, and basically everybody that was on Android got K2SO to seven stars, and then everybody on iOS just got kind of left out in the dark. This isn't gonna happen according to them. It's a normal marquee, so basically everybody's gonna get the same thing at the end. What that means is Android will get it first, and then shortly thereafter, iOS will get it afterwards. This is just a marketing thing. It's not uh, anything other than that. But Anyway, their statement basically on T3 is that it's just going to be a droid that synergizes well with other droids, and they expect them to rise in utility. They don't expect them to be meta-dominant right now, at least for now. And so what that kind of infers is that when General Grievous gets his rework, there will be a probable rise in the meta for droids. So this is just adding to the possible future droid meta. Now, the part I find hysterical is we have been asking for a droid rework for a very, very long time. We've said, we need droids, we need droids, we need droids. And uh, instead of the droids that were in the game getting reworked, such as IG-86 um, or HK-47 or the B-2 or General Grievous, what we do is they, they have just been introducing a bunch of new droids. And at this point, there are so many good droids now that there's almost not a need for a rework. Basically, the only one that needs reworked is General Grievous and maybe the B2 uh, to have that taken a look at. But we've now got uh, T3, which is a solid addition to any roster, BB-8, which is phenomenal, R2-D2, IG-88 recently got a rework with his Bounty Hunter rework, uh, the Imperial Probe Droid, which is solid, K-2SO, which has always been a solid tank, just super annoying tank, especially in a Rogue One team, uh, L3, which is highly underrated, uh, Chopper, which is highly underrated, and then, of course, you have the remaining old droids. And so General Grievous, HK-86, and maybe IG-100, uh, some of those droids could definitely have a look through. But let's go ahead and get into uh, T3. All right, what they wanted to bring out with T3 was a more offensive version of R2-D2. Not better, just more offensive, a little bit more offensive. And so what that means is a few more debuffs on basic because debuffs are going to equal offense with the droids. Uh, they're kind of the, the, the go-to with T3 is that uh, he's going to strip buffs, very specifically defensive buffs. It's very similar to Nest. When Nest counters on her basic, she strips the defensive buffs um, and then also will actively cleanse and heal. It has uh, kind of a uh, Thrawn type ability where it can cleanse uh, another player, another droid and heal that droid with health and protection. So pretty cool. Uh, so kind of think of it as the Thrawn for droids uh, type situation. It will work really well with light side or dark side characters and also it's another character that can apply target lock, another droid. So now you got three droids that can apply target lock. So it's starting to create that target lock synergy. And then of course, it's gonna give increased sustainability for droids um, because it offers crit hit immunity and offense up. So pretty cool. For Territory Wars, it's gonna be a solid addition, of course, because it's gonna give you one more character you can use in a defensive or offensive team. And so definitely uh, solid there. And in Territory Battles, of course, it's gonna be a, a good uh, character all the way through. Those are both PVE, and that's what I expect most people to use this droid is in PVE. If you're going to try to run it on PVP, they make some suggestions. They said, you know, an HK-47 lead would be good, but we all know that HK-47 is not so good. I tried to run an HK-47 lead against 
mediocre teams, um, old school meta, some of the new meta, and they got wiped. They got wiped very, very quick. So the best uh, I found was a Jedi Training Ray lead with BB-8 R2-D2, L3 for durability uh, and the annoying taunt, and then of course bringing in T3 to help out. And we all know that uh, Jedi Training Ray, she works really well with a bunch of droids around her. So that's, that's basically the best thing I would suggest if you were gonna run in Arena. And we'll fight both on off, you'll see on offense and defense how the droids are and, and kind of how the AI plays them on defense. Uh, and then they, of course, um, we don't have a light side leader per se for droids. We got HK-47 um, and we've got Lobot and Lobot really would be the leader, but I mean, he's not good <laughs> and HK-47 isn't so good right now either. So like I said, JTR would probably be your go-to lead with these droids. What's really cool is there is a ton of people out there that already have JTR, already have BB-8, already have R2-D2 and all they would have to do is use their L3 at three stars, just gear it up if they haven't already, and then bring in the uh, T3 and three stars would be viable, just get it up to gear 11. So a couple of character gears and you could actually use it in arena, but it's not gonna be the most defensible and really with all of the, um, you know, incoming Darth Treyas, it's not gonna be viable in arena yet. Hopefully General Grievous will change all of that all right, now let's get into his kit. He's got five abilities, two uniques. Both uniques are Zetas, and both uniques have massive synergy with, with uh, other droids, and so keep that in mind. And then three abilities, one basic with two specials. We'll go into the basic. It's called Disable, and it says it will deal special damage to a target enemy with a 75% chance to inflict ability block. If the enemy had target lock, the ability block can't be resisted. Now. That ability block uh, being applied is one thing, but staying is another. And with Darth Treyas, of course, being cleansed uh, or with, you know, Thrawn's running everywhere, this is just going to get cleansed off. And so it's not a massive benefit. This basic is just, you know, damage and possible ability block. And, uh, and so, you know, if you're going against a team that didn't cleanse a lot, then it would be one thing, but I don't really see it. Plus it's only a 75% chance for ability block, not a guarantee. So it's not even uh, that good of a percentage in comparison to just inflict ability block for one turn type thing. Uh, repair kit, uh, and this is really a support droid, right? He's, he's there to kind of make the other droids better. He will, this is his, um, his Thrawn ability, if you will. This is the ability that I call that's kind of like Thrawn. So he's gonna dispel all debuffs on a target ally, so cleanse that ally, and if it were a droid, they're gonna recover health and protection. So not just protection like Thrawn, but health as well. And then in addition, they're gonna get critical hit immunity and offense up for two turns. Now think about IG-88, critically hit, about to die, you use repair kit on him, he gets his health back, his protection back, crit hit immunity so he's durable, and offense up so that way he can now start to tear through the opposing team. This is a pretty cool ability, first special, and you can use it every three turns. The next one is kind of like R2-D2's burn, but it's called Carbonite Projector, uh, and it is a smoke screen of sorts um, on the opponent. So he, it's an AOE to the whole opposing side, and it will deal special damage to all enemies and dispel defensive buffs. So kind of like Nest, but it does it to all the enemies. So it gets rid of all their defensive buffs from the enemies who have them. And then it removes 20% turn meter. Turn meter removal against an entire team is always good and it inflicts critical chance down and offense down. So they're on, less likely to crit and they're gonna be neutered through having offense down for two turns. Also, target locked enemies can't resist these debuffs. So if you're applying a bunch of target lock and this goes off, it is going to um, guarantee. Now he will apply target lock on his one of his uniques randomly every turn to the opposing team. So unless they're cleansing those off, such as Dartrea, aside from that, outside of that, this is going to basically uh, be pretty amazing to be able to remove that turn meter and neuter the uh, opposing team. So these are all uh, Omega abilities. You should be able to max all of these out while you have it even at three stars. 
And then we go into the uniques. The first unique is Combat Logic Upgrade, and it gives all droid allies 8% potency and 8% critical hit chance stacking each time T3 uses an ability. So he's gonna go quite a bit, and every time it's gonna increase potency and crit chance. What's cool about that is it means that all the other debuffs that you're trying to apply on the team are gonna get more and more consistent, and they're all gonna hit harder because they're gonna be critting. And then it says also droid allies have 8% uh, crit damage for each debuff on the enemy team. So the more debuffs they apply, the more damage they're going to be capable of doing as well. So pretty cool. And uh, let's see. So that was Combat Logic Upgrade. Uh, Master Gearhead is pretty amazing. I like this one. It's a Zeta for sure. And the Zeta portion is what uh, gives him 100% defense penetration, and that's really important. That's actually one of the better stats in the game. So T3 has 100% defense penetration, and droid allies gain 100% of T3's defense penetration. Additionally, each time T3 starts his turn, he has a 75% chance to inflict target lock for two turns on a random enemy that doesn't have it. This target lock can't be evaded. So for any of the Jedi teams that have evasion or for any of the Jedi training ray teams, um, this target lock is going to go on uh, even if they have foresight up. But it's a 75% chance every turn, every time he takes a turn, a 75% chance. And if he starts to paint the opposing team with them, and so um, remember this, during the battle, he is going to get more and more potent because of his first unique uh, and, and more likely to crit. This is going to start to apply a little more consistently on a back end of a, a battle, an encounter. And so keep that in mind in the, in the raids, that's going to become something that's with the potency stacking is going to really help. Uh, so that's good. But as far as like in a five minute arena battle, this is something that um, may take too long to be realized as far as the potency stacking goes. Uh, so bottom line, we want to look at his, his um, you know, health and protection speed, things like that. And uh, totally maxed out for a support character. He's about average for health and protection. And uh, with speed, I was able to put almost 100 speed on him, and he's still right at about 224. He's super slow. He's only 126. And to put that into perspective, a any character at 130 or above is the top half in speed, and anything below 130 is the bottom half in speed characters. And so you're talking about a relatively slow character in comparison to all the other characters that are in the game. I was able to put a little bit of potency on him. Of course, it's going to stack, so it's not as big a deal um, because he's going to get that, but you want him to have some possibility of getting that ability block on basic, the target lock on his turns, things like that. Um, and then, of course, um, he's got average armor, and his special damage is what he's actually going to do. And I was able to put some crit chance on him to raise that up, so that way he's going to possibly crit even more. Plus, he's gonna raise his crit chance up as well. So um, he's almost at 5,000. You could easily get it to 5,000 if that was your goal. And uh, that's that's about average damage for a special damage character. And uh, I, I suggest, because he's so stinking slow, that if you're gonna mod him, you mod him with a speed set and a potency set because he's going to inflict debuffs. I happened to use a crit chance set and I did that so that way right off the bat in Arena, he's going to start to crit a little more consistently earlier on. And with the special damage, that crit's going to be pretty nice. Uh, on the arrow, of course, you're going to use speed. On the triangle, uh, you could use critical damage since he stacks crit chance. Or you could go ahead and go crit chance like me so you can give him a little more consistency earlier on in the battle. And uh, this, I put potency. He will stack his potency, but this gives it to him consistently earlier on in the battle. And of course, protection, he needs a lot of protection. So a protection circle, that's how I would mod him. But anyway, he's got three. Let's go try him in arena. What we're gonna do is go against basically a mirror match. So we'll see how the AI plays him on defense and we're gonna play him on offense. I'm not saying I'm gonna play it perfectly. We're just gonna walk through his kit and kind of play it and see what happens. Um, I can tell you that a JTR team with four droids is super annoying to battle. 
So this is the team I would suggest if I was going to go into arena L3 for the uh, uh, super annoying taunting. Um, of course, all the support droids, BB-8, R2, and then L3. And then of course, JTR, she's got health down. So that's going to help kind of focus, uh, you know, uh, he healing immunity. That's going to help kind of focus down, focus fire on characters. And then of course, you've got lots of debuffs with both of those characters with target lock and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's go into this battle. Let's check it out. All right, so it was a tie. So we're gonna go ahead and go with ours first. We are going to swipe that. We don't want theirs taunting. And uh, now we're gonna go after, hmm, let's go after their, uh, let's go after their tank, L3. try and get rid of this tank early on. If it starts to taunt, it can become a super pain in the butt. And, oh, they left T3 vulnerable. All right, now you got your three abilities and you got your basic, and every time he takes a turn, it's gonna, in theory, target lock. By the way, you see minus target locked because theirs took a turn. And uh, they've got some defensive buffs. And so what I'm gonna try and do is strip. I don't need to cleanse anybody and the basics not needed. So I'm gonna use this ability right here, uh, Carbonite, uh, Carbonite uh, Projector. And we're gonna get rid of some of those defensive buffs. There you go. And uh, didn't apply, uh, you know. All right. Let's just keep working on their tank. I wanna get rid of their tank because that tank once max, once realized, becomes an absolute nightmare to deal with. All right, boom, almost. Kink, kink. <laughs> Gotta really get rid of, okay, there we go. All right, so the tank's gone. They got rid of my defensive buffs and applied a target lock to R2D2. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go after their R2-D2. So let's call an assist. There we go, got the stun. Let's come over here and try and stun BB-8. And you can see uh, that L3 doesn't get, or um, T3, sorry, doesn't get a whole lot of turns because in comparison to all the other droids, just really slow character all right let's go ahead and let's keep on with their r2d2 and there we go oh we'll use a you know what let's show you the cleanse on bb8 so we're going to use this one that's the repair kit so watch what happens pretty cool repair kit bb8 bam health and protection and cleanse so kind of like Thrawn's kit in, in a sense. Let's go ahead and burn everybody. So super good that he's able to kind of keep the droids viable. We'll go after BB-8 next. And of course, here's our tank taunting in the background and Illuminated Destiny, which now makes all the droids insanely powerful. I mean, 18,000, no, 17,800 from R2's basic. Uh, pretty amazing, actually. We're going to go ahead and call in BB-8, and this is all over before it started. And we will then try and go ahead and get rid of their JTR. We got the target lock, at least. Let's go ahead and taunt. Boom. Not going to be able to do a whole lot with her countering and putting defense down. And that's it for her. Team looks really, really solid. Again, let's go ahead and finish this off. And there you go. So it looks really overpowered in a mirror match, but let's go ahead and go against uh, another team that might you know, give it a little bit more run for its money. <clears throat> All right, for top 100, top 200, people that are kind of up there, but maybe not top 10, could very likely see this team 
all over the place with Emperor Palpatine lead with you know a bunch of Sith we've got Darth Vader who's gonna be very devastating underneath with Sion and Darth Nihilus and then of course we got Sith Assassin in there I'm not using Treya because we all know Darth Treya is gonna cleanse all of this stuff off totally and completely neutering any capability of this particular team that I'm trying to showcase so we're just gonna go ahead and start off let's start with that um, let's put burn down on all of them because they don't have a cleanser that should stick and do a decent amount of damage um, now let's go ahead and move to Nihilus and remove his turn meter and ability block. Let's do his special and we'll get uh, her kind of going. They don't have any buffs up yet, so I'm not going to use the special that removes buffs. And nobody's damaged yet, so I'm not going to cleanse anyone. We're just going to use a basic on Emperor Palpatine. 13,000 on a basic isn't bad at all. Everyone's stunned. Yikes. All right, let's hit our head. Punk. <laughs> And now let's go ahead and this is great. I'm gonna be able to cleanse BB-8. Um, so it kind of brings in two cleanses, you know, because of Jedi training Ray. So that's really good. And there we go. We got Emperor Palpatine out of there. He's really our biggest issue. Now I can cleanse um, R2-D2 and I need to, cause he's, he's sparking uh, like <laughs> droids do. And uh, let's see, we, Darth Vader is gonna be absolutely devastating so let's try and get rid of uh darth vader next yikes all right bam and let's just keep working on darth vader like i said if he does his force crush we're going to be in trouble so uh the defense down that l3 provides is uh really good actually really helps kind of clear them up um let's cleanse r2d2 and you can see the the uh, target lock is now on darth nihilus and uh actually let's try and get darth scion out of here darth vader's an issue but since darth scion is at a point of the ability to be able to kill him we should probably get rid of him now there we go. Now we can move back to Darth Vader. So the team's doing okay. And then we'll do one last battle against Trey so you can kind of see what happens. Oh, he gained all that life. There we go. All right, Darth. Darth Nihilus has got to go. We're going to go ahead and stealth everybody, forcing them to hit L3. And we're just going to keep working on Nihilus. And so far so good we'll just burn them <laughs> like i said if they don't have a cleanse this is works pretty good so it kind of solves the problem if they don't have a cleanser there we go get rid and we'll just finish her off there we go so there's two for two in arena. Both teams were kind of subpar arena teams. Let's go ahead and go against basically what most people would consider the worst team to go against, uh, which would either be an Emperor Palpatine led triumvirate team or a triumvirate team with Darth Treya. All right, now we're going against the Emperor Palpatine led triumvirate. This is kind of a, a nightmare team to deal with. There's always a plus one. Some people use Darth Vader because he's super fast and, and speeds the team up. Some people will use Thrawn. Uh, other people are using Nest. This is really kind of the meta current meta right now. And um, let's just see how they fare. Let's go ahead and force them onto our tank. And let's ability block Darth Nihilus. It's really more for the turn meter reduction is what we're looking for. There we go. And let's start to get her going. And there's no defensive blocks. Nobody needs healed. Let's just do a basic on Emperor Palpatine. And there was the target lock or the, the ability block on basic. Obviously, Trey is going to cleanse that, but you can see it's applied. Let's go ahead and cleanse BB-8 and hopefully take him out. Bow almost tried to heal but that's what jtr is for that debuff is actually very very good uh let's burn everybody oops targeting the wrong person it's trying to get rid of emperor palpatine there we go bam now we can move on let's go ahead and make sure they can't hit the droids Let's just keep going because Illuminated Destiny is going to really help a lot. Um, 
Again, let's go ahead and take away the turn meter of Darth Nihilus. We just got to keep controlling him. And now we need to get rid of Scion. He's going to taunt anyway, but he's he's a definite pain in the rear end. And so that he healing immunity is going to help be able to kind of chop him down quickly. And um, do we need to heal anyone? Not yet. We don't need to heal anyone yet. Oh, and he went into it, but that's okay because we should be able to kill him quickly. And now we just have to get him down before he uses that ability again. There's defense down. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take away turn meter from Darth Nihilus. And let's burn everybody. All right, we definitely need to take out Darth Nihilus now. And, oh, that came at the perfect time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and remove turn meter from Darth Treya. And I got to heal this bad boy. I cannot wait to heal R2-D2. Here we go. Nice. Bam. All right. And let's go ahead and keep going after Darth Nihilus. Boy, I tell you what, JTR as a leader is really, really good. We're going to leave Treya there till the end. Wowzers, we're doing way better than I was expecting us to do. She can cleanse, but um, the turn meter control with JTR has really, really come in handy. And uh, the healing immunity, you know, the... Uh, healing immunity is absolutely vital in this man she's not looking too good what wow okay so um they said not meta defining but i just went against a extremely extremely strong team with top end mods and uh i didn't lose a single character so uh, let's try a trail lead while we're at it. This is crazy. Let's try it. All right, so I've had some pretty good luck, but now we're going against the future meta. This is Treya lead. She's gonna be healing them and she's gonna be cleansing them with Sith Trooper. Most of the time, most teams don't do anything to this. Really the only team that I know of that can solidly and consistently beat this Treya led team with Sith Trooper is an Emperor Palpatine-led team because of all the additional turn meter, you just get way more turns and you're able to chew through this team a little bit faster. So the current meta beats this team, but this is probably gonna be future meta because this is against the, the Jedis that are rising right now. Now I'm gonna have to try and play this as best as possible, which is kind of hard when we're chatting, but I'm gonna do my very best. Let's go ahead and stealth everybody. And we're gonna continue with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of his taunt. And, uh, hmm. Yikes. Let's try and get rid of, let's, let's get rid of Sith Trooper. He's going to absolutely be super annoying. So, hmm, let's do it. That was 1,800 damage. That's it. Not even 2,000 damage. Wow, all right, we've gotta, we've gotta get some healing immunity on that guy so we can start whittling him down. And L3 was there to absorb that isolate. Man, the damage of him, it's just not, it's just not cutting through Sith Trooper. Uh, let's get rid of defensive buffs and neuter their team. Uh, burn is actually very effective uh, against these teams. Let's try and move over to Darth Nihilus and get rid of turn meter. And uh, man, can I get... Sith Trooper is... Yikes. Man, this is just... There we go. We're starting to get rid of Sith Reaper. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we've got to save him. Got to save him. Um, let's save him. Come on, no. Oh, he deflected it. Oh, my goodness. We're going to lose BB-8. Come on, BB-8. I want to survive. I want to survive. I want to survive. Oh, man. 
The next ability, the next ability was gonna keep him in the game. Dang it. All right, let's do our 2D2 then. And let's go ahead and get rid of him. Or not. Man. Dang it. All right. What? He's still around? Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, let's burn. And let's get rid. There we go. All right, we have to go out of their, their second tank now. He's going to be taunting because we'll have pain. All right, let's just keep working away at Scion. And let's see, let's get rid of Darth Nihilus's turn meter. Oh well, I knew that was gonna happen. Let's go ahead and use R2-D2. He just used his ability, so if we can kill him twice before he gets to use his second ability, we'll be all right. Maybe we can, here, let's remove her turn meter. It's all about control. Man, they're not doing a lot of damage to L3, that's for sure. Pretty awesome. Um, all right, let's get rid of him, and then he'll come back. Oh, JTR, that's my, that's my girl. Dang it, that was it. That was what I needed. So you can see this team's pretty good, but against what's the future slash current meta with, uh, you know, Treya, it's just, it's not going to happen, sadly. Um, that's battle over. So what are your thoughts about the new droid? Are you going to go in on the droid? Are you just going to wait till uh, the droid becomes free to play? Let me know in the comments down below and keep your gaming on. Warrior out.